It's a smile Larissa is now proud of. <laughs> the tumor that grew on the right side of her mouth, all but a distant memory. The only reminder, a tiny scar near her chin. I look at the pictures and I think, oh my gosh, you know, she went through so, so much. And just, and just what she's at now, it's just, wow, it's, it's amazing. Amazing because a month ago, this was Larissa. She was confined to a wheelchair for the third time, trying to let a broken femur heal. But that wasn't the only obstacle little Larissa was facing. She also had to go through life with a giant tumor growing near her mouth. But after a grueling 11-hour surgery, that tumor is no more. They removed the jawbone, as you can see, and they uh, replaced it with her fibula, sigma flap on her right leg. Um, it has... It has been doing very well. The doctors are so pleased with the outcome. That seven-year-old we first met in a wheelchair is now bouncing around her home, even crawling on the floor chasing after her new pet, a rabbit named Oreo McFlurry. She's a little more sassy, as the doctors will say at MD Anderson. <laughs> Larissa's story touched many people here in the Valley, some donating money, and others their craft, reconstructing part of Larissa's home to make it easier for her to maneuver her wheelchair. Marla says the outpouring of support for her little girl has left a lasting impression. I just want to thank everybody out there that who has helped us. I mean, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. As for that shy little girl we met just a month ago, she has this to say to everyone who has supported her. Thank you so much. 